Good morning and welcome to Ridge Church. We're so glad that you're here with us this morning. My name is Krista, I'm your pre-service host, and much like last week, we are having these conversations with folks that have been a part of our church for 35, 40, 45 years, sometimes uh, a few more years than that. And so we're super excited. Uh, we have another guest with us this morning, and I'm gonna take a moment and see if she will introduce herself for us. So who are you and how long have you been attending Maple Ridge Baptist Church? My name is Ruth Fair, and I have been attending Maple Ridge Baptist Church since I was two weeks old. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> now, how did you come here? My parents moved from Vancouver six months before I was born, and they were looking for an evangelical church, and this was the only one. So this is where we landed, and this is where I started my Sunday school years. Wow. And uh, yes, this is where I have been, more or less, except for uh, seven years when my husband and I were in home missions work wow. um, in Northern BC. Other than that, we have been here in Maple Ridge. That's so long, that's so neat. Now, how old were you when you accepted Jesus into your life? I was um, probably about four years old. Wow. So, now looking back on all these years of following Jesus and kind of knowing who he is and, and of course being a part of this church, would you say that it has been worth it to follow after him? Hmm. There are so many decisions in life. I wouldn't want to be without a guide. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is our guide wow. through, uh, through scripture and, and just verses that he brings back to memory. Yes. We need him for our, our guide. Yes. I wouldn't want to be without mine. Yes, ah, that's so beautiful. What a beautiful picture that he really does sort of set us on a course. And mm -hmm. yeah, scripture talks about that a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so good. Um, so being a part of this church for so many years, I'm wondering if you could let us know how uh, MRBC has impacted Maple Ridge and Pitt Meadows uh, with the gospel. I guess one of the big things is Vacation Bible School. Right. Because we just reach or would reach such an array of kids. Hmm. Everybody would bring their their school friends and uh, it was one big party hmm. and a wonderful time to get to know what the church stood for. Right. Get to know Jesus. Hmm. So yes, the uh, there was um, I don't know for how many years, 20, 30 years straight that there was the uh, Vacation Bible School. Right. And I think you had mentioned that it was Jesus and fun. Like it was so much fun, right? Yes. Yes. That's so good. Yeah. Another thing to impact our community was when uh, Freddie Callwhite started the Singing Christmas Tree. Right. We had uh, full orchestra and drama. Right. Plus the Singing Christmas Tree. And the whole fall was set to, uh, to just plan for Christmas. Wow. I, wasn't, uh, I wasn't one of the singers or anything. I was a couple of times in, back at narration. But uh, it, for us, it was an opportunity to bring our neighbors. Mm. And that was, that was the big thing. People came, they were invited and they were excited to come year after year. Wow. Because it was so well done. Right. And what a wonderful way to introduce Christmas, especially now it seems like we can't see Christmas anywhere around us. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the posters were out and people just knew it was a good thing to go to. Wow. Pre-Christmas. Yeah. I love that you, everyone seemed to invite their neighbors mm -hmm. and their family mm -hmm. and there wasn't this sense of, oh, if you want to come to church, like, it was no. a place of almost like pride and honor to be a part of the Absolutely. singing Christmas tree. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Another uh, thing that we did in, in this church was have Pioneer Girls. Mm. And uh, yeah, that was one of my favorite things. Mm. And uh, the outreach was into the community was great. Yes. The, uh, the number of kids from Sunday school was was minimal compared to all the friends that they brought. Wow. 
and uh, yeah, just to week after week be able to put scripture into their lives and, and Bible memorizing, yeah. yeah, as well as all the fun things that we did. Right. And then on occasions, many occasions, the moms would be invited and we got to, we really got to know the moms of these kids. Yeah, what a beautiful picture again of just discipleship, you know, like doing life together with people. And, and I love how you would be doing, yeah, again, the fun stuff, but then the really, you know, learning a skill, I guess, in Pioneer Girls or doing the badges, but then always pointing people towards Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. As far as impacting the community, I think uh, one that hardly anybody knows about now would be uh, the bus ministry. Right. We ha had moved out from Vancouver to uh, Webster's Corner, which is five miles right. from, from the church. And so we soon had a car full of, of people that wanted to go to church. And in fact, my older sister was saying that she sat in the trunk of the car with, <laughs> with another boy and uh, all the way five miles to church. Oh my. And there were others that still wanted to go. Of course. And so uh, what were they gonna do? And uh, my dad and, and Jake Gerbrandt put right. their heads together and with the full, uh, the church fully agreed on it. Yeah. And we had uh, this uh, uh, two buses going. Wow. One to Al one to Albion. Yeah. Uh, Webster's Corner, mm. and uh, Alexander Robertson, then down over to Yenadin. Wow. And the second bus went to uh, Hammond. And those buses were sometimes really full, believe it or not, wow. especially the one to the east. And uh, when we had a, a contest on one bus against the other, right. we would go up and down the street and get some kids and moms and yeah, we, we would overload the bus. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's, look what, again, what a beautiful picture that people wanted to be a part of the church, that yeah. people wanted to come and to hear and to be a part of what was going on here. Yeah, yeah. and that, you, that the church was very outward focused, which is pretty neat that that's a part of our legacy. Very cool. Um, I'm wondering what person or program uh, had the biggest impact on you um, and your life as a believer? Uh, this might seem strange, but uh, Vacation Bible School was. Yes, that's wonderful. <laughs> it was a lot, of, a lot of fun and really most memorable to me. Hmm. Uh, it was two weeks just packed with, with a lot of fun. Hmm. Krista, you should have been there. Nah, I wish. It sounds, the picture of, of what VBS was, yeah. uh, again, I've heard from just other people in conversation, uh, 500 kids, 600 kids, and just yeah. again, this picture of fun and community and people doing life together, but again, in the church and all with this idea of knowing Jesus more. It's beautiful. We brought, brought our friends right. and actually in the morning we would line up outside according to grade right and march in with onward christian soldiers and then we'd sing and it was wall-to-wall -wall kids wow and then we would go to our classrooms and sit around a table with just no elbow room it was we were just crammed in right doing books and uh, hearing the stories of the bible oh man uh, and a craft the um there was always a theme right for the week right for the two weeks. Right, two weeks. Nine to 12 for two weeks. Wow. And uh, then on the Friday night, we picked up on the theme and every class dressed up uh, to something to, to fit in with the theme. <laughs> so fun. And the parents were all out, the moms and dads. Right. Everybody was there for the big finale. Wow. But the part that was special to me. Yeah. <laughs> The first day, it was, they always mentioned that they were going to have a prize oh. for the one that memorized the most verses. Yeah. And every year, I was keen on that one. <laughs> That's awesome. Why not go for the prize? Yes. So, yeah. To this day, I'm benefiting from that because I always fought for the prize. That's so good. And uh, yeah, with year after year, mm. 
doing not only the one week memory verses or the two week memory verses, right. but all extra verses that you could hmm. possibly learn. Right. And uh, yeah, try to beat, beat everybody else and get that prize. And did you? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> good job. Tell me, what was the best prize you ever got? You know, remember? I looked for it. Yes. And I think I gave it as a gift to one of my grandkids. Oh. But it was a, a New Testament. Yes. That had an oval in the front, and it was a picture of Christ. Wow. In that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was beautiful. Oh man, it's just so interesting, <laughs> like hearing these stories and just seeing your face and how yeah. these memories are so joy filled. And I mean. That's what I would love for my children. And I know Anna yeah. does an amazing job with our kids' programs and stuff, but it really is amazing to see that that's our legacy, that that's a part of what we've done for like 50, 60 years. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, so did you have a mentor here at Maple Ridge Baptist Church? I did. Yes. I Tell did. Tell us a bit about that person. Um, in my nursery years, mm -hmm. through my through all of my years in mm -hmm. Sunday school and in Vacation Bible School, Grace Robinson would pop up mm -hmm. as being my leader, wow. as being my teacher. Okay. And uh, yeah, I just loved her. Mm -hmm. When I was in grade 12, Pioneer Girls started oh. in this church. Okay. And I had never heard anything about it, and right. it was brand new. And Grace approached us grade 11 and 12 girls, mm. if we would come to her home once a week and uh, be the club with her. So we didn't know what we were in for, right? but we, we started the club. And uh, one thing that happened was that she asked me if I would be the leader right. of the group right. under her. And that was such a learning experience for me. Hmm. I would have said no to anybody else, right. but I couldn't say no to her. Hmm. And uh, it was, it was a, a really a learning time for me. Hmm. Uh, I, I learned a lot working with her, hmm. and I, I prayed a lot hmm. before I went to the club, and I took on the responsibility. Wow. And uh, yeah, it, it gave me just more of an appreciation for who she was, mm. more on an adult right. level. Right. And just the interest that she had in all of us, and I knew she had in me, and, uh, and just love. Wow. Yeah, she was a beautiful mentor, and I, I just really feel that she catapulted me out of high school right. and, and into the, the new world of graduation. Right. I was, so much more ready to be out of school after that year of working with with the club with her wow it's interesting because she would have shared life with you again right like it's it's not about yeah like you guys would have met together and and you mm -hmm. would have learned from her and her way of doing things and how she probably depended a lot on the lord yes yeah wow yes very special. What is your prayer for the next generation here at church? You know, when you asked that question before, mm. and I've thought of it, um, the next generation, I'm just seeing this array of little kids that we have on Sunday. Right. Not these days, but right. yes. Normally, yeah. All the little kids, all the young kids, your, yeah. your little brood. And, yeah. And just, it's so thrilling to see them. And, you know, yeah, my, my prayer would be that they just grow up to, to love the Lord, mm. to really know who He is, mm. and, and just desire to live for Him. Mm. My, I have five great grandkids. Wow. And uh, I would have the same prayer for, mm. for these Sunday school kids as mm. I do for my great grandkids. Mm. And it comes from Isaiah. One of them is, all your children will be taught by the Lord and great will be their peace. And another one from Isaiah is, uh, I will pour out my spirit on them. And that's, that's just what we want to see, isn't it? Definitely. That they will see Jesus. Yeah. 
and want to live for Jesus. Thank you so much, Ruth, for yeah coming today and sharing with us. And um, yeah, might we all be just encouraged to uh, yeah seek God and to to really trust that He's at work within the people here at our church and and also just beyond our walls. Um, might we pray that He continues to. Uh, draw many people to this place and to the other churches in town that know and love him and want to see uh, the gospel go forward. And so, um, yeah, as you guys are sitting there and we're about to, to join in in the rest of the service, uh, we just uh, really want to encourage you to continue to pray, to uh, think about summer day camp, which it's now called in VBS and the story of of how that greatly impacted. And, and would you guys mind uh, just praying for that ministry in particular as we just hear of the fruit of that. And uh, we know that that's coming up. Uh, that's gonna be July, I believe it's 5th to 7th or 5th to the 9th, I think. And, and just continue to uh, seek God and for what he's doing here at our church. Um, let's, let's worship together as we lead into service. <laughs> 